Hello, we are here to announce our new open prioritization experiment. As we presented our idea to friends, they had several questions, so we're going to answer those questions for you as well. Before we get started, Brian, will you please explain the idea? Sure. In simple terms, it's sort of an experiment at democratically crowdfunding feature development for browsers. So we picked six projects. These are concrete implementations of web API standards in different browsers that we could do. And what we're asking with this experiment is, if we were to crowdfund this work, would you pledge to that effort? So to let us know, you can go to egalia.com slash open prioritization. You'll see a list of the six projects. You can choose pledge to make a statement that you would. It's not even connected to your bank. It's just a way for us to gauge your interest. It is just a pledge. We promise that the first one of these to reach its stated goal, we will actually crowdfund. That will be a separate event. A lot of our friends thought that people would ask, wait, Egalia can implement things in browsers? Yes, in fact, that's exactly what we do at Egalia. All day, every day. Yeah, we do it all the time. Regardless of which browser you're using right now, we definitely contribute feature work to it. Everybody loves CSS Grid, right? We implemented that in WebKit and Chromium. We implemented Resize Reserver, Lazy Loading, Preloading of Responsive Images, Big Int in JavaScript, Class Fields. The list just goes on and on. So we have a lot of experience with this and great relationships with browser teams, in fact. Another question that was submitted was, why would someone other than a browser vendor pay for this? Isn't that their job? Well, companies invest in implementations for a lot of reasons. For instance, nobody is surprised when a company participates in a standards body, but every single thing developed in the standards body creates new concrete implementation work. So if you invest in creating the standard, you want to see the standard realized in all implementations as soon as possible. Yeah, and to be clear, all of the vendors actually invest a lot. Each of these projects is tens of millions of lines of code and thousands of person years in investment. But no matter how much money any browser vendor allocates for this, their budgets are still, at the end of the day, finite, just like any other company. And that means that they need to prioritize, just like any other company. And the people doing the prioritization with those budgets is them. And this can add a lot of time to the process until we get a standard realized in all browsers. It can even lead to things not ever getting standardized because the longer something sits without implementations, the less important it seems. Companies make it more possible to get around this challenge and get the work done by contributing, either directly or by hiring us. So another question that everybody wants to know is, yeah, but why should I? Well, maybe should isn't the right word. That's kind of what we're asking. Agalia has shown that this is a concrete way to get things done. It's not a theory, it's proven. And we can do so much more. Yeah, the historical centralized investment and prioritization model is actually very limited. That's a big part of why all the engines are now open source. We think Agalia has shown that diversifying investment in the commons is actually really healthy for the whole commons. And we'd like to start thinking about how we can work together to better organize this. And that means some kind of collective way to fund and prioritize work, thus our experiment. Another question that was submitted is, that's really great, but how do I know that any of the browsers will actually accept the work? Well, we have a long, successful track record. We have great relationships, and we chose these items very carefully. Yeah, very carefully. We picked things that were small, they were not controversial, that were ready for implementation, and very importantly, we talked to the browser vendors first. So another question that a lot of people were curious about is, okay, when will it ship? The short answer is probably next year. Yeah. Once we have funded, the work will enter our work queue. We'll finish doing the work in some short months, and it will go into the review and release phases. That can differ a lot. It really depends on the project and the vendors. So finally, the last question that we have here is, what happens if more than one reaches its goal? We'll see. That would be a great outcome. Yeah, we'd love to do them all. But in order to promise to do the work, honestly, we have to have a resource with spare cycles to do it. We also have to plan and prioritize. So as an experiment, what we can promise is that we can do definitely the first one. If more than one funds, we will try our best to try to crowdfund and get the other ones done as well. That would be great. Uh, but it's very difficult while this is still an experiment to plan ahead. So if this works, will you do more with things that aren't on the list? 
Yeah, we would love to do a whole lot of this. There are plenty of people out there who together believe that specific things deserve priority, uh, but we won't all agree and that's okay. What we need to do is to find common interests and then find a way for them to all meet their needs.